Hello everyone. This is the prosthodontics on Friday, which goes over the implant prosthetics and digital dentistry step by step, advantages and disadvantages, and side effects in an easy to understand manner. I am Dr. Jo Inho, moderator of the session. Today is the last digital lecture in the prosthodontics on Friday, the age of big data, digital dentistry for patients and dentists to be delivered by young and vibrant Dr. Ki Won Jin. Hello. We have prepared the digital dentistry. Would you briefly explain what you are going to talk about? Digital is in the mainstream, and there are many dentists who know about the digital dentistry. As a dentist with an engineering degree, let me share my thoughts with you. I heard after you earned a degree in electric engineering and computer science, you moved on to the dental school to be a dentist. I believe you are keenly interested in the digital dentistry, right? Yes, that is right. Dr. Key prepared the last digital dentistry lecture. I look forward to it. If you are watching the dental site, you can communicate with us real time using the chat window on the right hand side of the screen. Please feel free to post your questions which will be answered during Q&A session. Starbucks coffee coupons are prepared for those who participate in the chat. Raise your questions in the real-time chat window and win the coffee coupons. I look forward to your active participation. Let's get started with Dr. Key's lecture. Hello, I am Ki Won Jin, as was just introduced. Everybody talks about digital. I'm going to talk about the age of big data digital dentistry for patients and dentists. Let me talk about the digital dentistry as a dentist with an engineering degree. This is the contents that I'm going to talk about. What is digital dentistry? In order to enjoy digital dentistry, we need to know about digital and uh, digital can be enjoyed by patients as well as dentists. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the use of digital dentistry for diagnosis and treatment. First, digital dentistry. These days, dentistry is full of digital. What is the idea of digital dentistry for you? There may be many, and I was surprised by this image. I saw in an international congress, first I was surprised by the act of the patient, and second, there is a robot placing an implant, and I thought the machine that I need most, which is a suction machine, would be already available. Digital dentistry, digital plus dentistry. Digital dentistry is not a new academic field, it is a combination of engineering and dentistry. Then, what is digital? First, before we define it, we ask a question, what is dentistry to a dentist who majored in dentistry? It is not easy to define it. Based on basic knowledge, I believe it is to study symptoms, causes, and treatment of various diseases. For example, Dental anatomy should be understood for preservation of teeth, prosthodontics, periodontics, and surgery. Before I talk about digital dentistry, let's talk about the file types in 3D files to explain the digital. File type study does not exist, but let me use it to explain the file types. What is the digital image that you have? It reminds me of a scene in the movie Matrix that I saw when I was young. It is on the right, and it is a science fiction scene. 
from a computer's perspective. Binary digit is the numbers used by computer. It is called bits. The cryptocurrency is represented by ones and zeros, so it is called a Bitcoin. A bit is zero or one. Eight bits are one byte. And uh, two to the eighth. 256 numbers can be represented by a byte. So it can represent from zero to 255 in decimal. One kilobyte means 1024 bytes. So for simplicity, one kilobyte is a thousand bytes. How does the computer view 2D files? Let's have a look at the composition of files. Let me use the file extension BMP. And let's look at how colors are represented. We already learned about this in prosthodontic classes. RGB model is used a lot by many displays. Cell phone or computer monitors have these patterns. As I explained, this is to represent RGB. A unit of RGB is called a pixel. In the computer, to represent a color, 256 levels of combination of red, green, and blue are mixed together. For example, red is from the maximum red value of 255, and yellow is maximum red and green, 255 each. As you can see, red, blue, and green are combined together to represent various colors. Here, red, green, and blue has 256 levels of intensity. That means to represent a color 8 bits, that means one byte is used to represent 256 levels of colors. One little square is a pixel. In the computer, one pixel gets the color information from three layers of R, G, and B. So the pixel is represented by 200 red, 100 green, and 0 blue. So in terms of bits, R is 1100100 and the relevant numbers in B all zeros. So when we edit or change photos using a Photoshop, that's changing the RGB values. So the first picture is divided into RGB layers, and the photo is composed of those three layers. This file has a 300 by 300, 90,000 pixels. So the file size can be estimated by multiplying pixel number of pixels and the bits per pixel. So it uses 270,000 bytes in the file attributes. In the attributes, you can find the information. CAD CAM, the word CAD CAM is mentioned a lot in the dentistry. To use the CAD CAM, the three-dimensional files need to be used. This is the object, three-dimensional object seen by people. A computer recognizes it as points, lines, and size. If you look at closely, three-dimensional objects are composed of vertices, edges, and three edges compose a polygon. And the collection of polygons is called mesh. To explain it simply, 3D file needs to be analyzed for a cube. So you can run the program to create the cube. And in the memo, you can see vertices and other numbers. If you analyze the file, there are three vertices. 
and their three-dimensional coordinates are indicated. The coordinates are 111, the second and the third vertices 011 and 001. The polygon is represented as a loop. The arrow means the outer side. Edge is 1 and it is executed in the cat. So there is a cube like this. What we see is the size, but the computer recognizes vertices, polygon, and edges. Like this, if we change the coordinates of vertices, the shape of an object changes. This is the 3D objects we deal with quite a lot. When we change the contour, the program changes the locations of vertices. Changing vertices can be done by CAD programs. There are many different uh, engineering CAD programs. As opposed to commercial CAD programs, there are CAD programs based on open source, which has scalability and more completeness. Dr. Key, may I ask a question in the middle? Of course. You talked about commercial program versus open source program. What are the differences between those two? Actually, it is explained in the next slide, so I was uh, too impatient. I will explain it right away. Open source means the source code of the software is disclosed. When you know the code, you can change or apply the code. This is as opposed to commercial code. The software can be freely used and modified by anyone. You cannot get economic benefits, but uh, everybody can participate in the editing. Therefore, it can increase the completeness and various functions can be added. An example of open source CAD, a Blender user opens the CTDICOM file in the Blender, acquires an STL file, and makes a surgical guide with a Blender a crown, bridge, and inlay are included in there. If a vertex relation can be set, facial scan data and skeletal data can be combined to estimate the facial changes or outcome of jaw surgeries. The disadvantage of an open source program is that it takes a long time to learn the program compared to a commercial one. The programs are well-known commercial CAD programs. Currently in the dentistry, these programs are used to change the vertices in the 3D programs to do the digital work. Currently, digital dentistry is advancing quite rapidly combining AI and image processing technologies to make practitioners to use it very easily. A lot of technologies are converged with the dental technology. Today, I'm going to talk about a small program that I made. With the advancement of digital technology, a lot of equipment or software are used by dentists. As their use increases, Various digital files are created. File creation is like making various models. If they're not organized, the files are created in various equipment. If they are not organized, it will result in the waste of space. So, data management is required to use the data when necessary. With the widespread of computers, the computers are near the dentists who can manage the data. If you can organize the data and the files, you can get prepared for the future big data era. That's why I came up with the program. In the Jeonnam University Dental School, 
we use this program to organize the data and the files. If you need it, just let me know. If you look at the basic functions of the program, there is an icon to search or register a patient, a search icon for information to use to explain the treatment to patients. The advantage of this program is we can add functions in the future. Patient search, patient name or registration numbers can be used. Relevant data is sorted. For intuitive interaction, patient picture and the panorama pictures appear. Depending on the purpose and a date, the data can be sorted. 2D or 3D file is analyzed to show what it is before you open the file. The program analyzes a 3D file to show you what it is before you open it. There is a folder open item to show you the file. There is a memo function which shows the history of the file like a chart of a patient. And the program is designed to have a hashtag for future search. This is an example of disorganized patient information. Each digital equipment generates different file names. It is difficult to integrate the files. If a specific computer is connected to a network, the server computer would store the files in one place. This is an example of registering a new patient. The name and the registration number are entered. Click the File Upload button. A CAD CAM generated file is set as a prosthesis. Click Upload. The 3D form will be displayed without you opening the file. Likewise, you upload the intro or scan file. Camera photos are selected and uploaded. Extra photos as well. To be more intuitive, frontal view and panorama pictures are registered. If necessary, you leave a memo and hashtag is made so that future search can be facilitated. You can confirm the hashtag. Storing the information may not be good enough to search the file. If you click on search in the future, you will be able to see the file. If you click on search, the list of patients is displayed and you can see the information of a patient. If you have both intra-photo and uh, intra-order scan data, you can set the condition of search like this. You can enter a hashtag here, then the patients with the word would be searched. I added this function before the presentation to use for patient explanation. It is set to play a specific surgery for a patient. Up to now, I have described how to manage files in a dental office. With the rapid advancement of AI and image processing technology, in the future, more functions would be added. Lastly, let me talk about how the open source CAD is used in a daily practice. The first case is 91-year-old female. The chief complaint is discomfort and pain during chewing. A conventional analysis was done to establish a treatment plan. In a standard way, the patient's VD was evaluated. The face was analyzed. Model analysis and measurements analysis. And the teeth analysis. The patient is Turner Category 1. She needs 6 mm of VD extension in the anterior with gingivectomy. As a second year intern, I tried to preserve VD of a patient, but I was very nervous because I had to raise, extend the VD in this old patient. So I decided to redetermine the VD amount or extension with the second diagnosis. And I decided to use digital technology this time. Intraoral scan data. Facial scan data, backstop, this model data all merged. 
cephaloanalysis and 3D occlusal plane. They all boil down to 6 mm VD extension. With the confirmation, I felt a little bit more convinced. Temporary denture is used for evaluation and TMJ is observed after final prosthesis, the facial analysis. After final prosthesis, chewing was good and the patient satisfaction is improved. Digital data analysis has been used to diagnose a patient. The second case, combining 3D printed metal and resin for upper full denture at the prosthodontics department of Jeonnam University Dental School. It was done by Professor Sangwon Lim on a patient of Chan Park of Jeonnam University. I did the digital denture and we published it in JPD. Natural teeth in the mandible and the dentulous maxilla. Functional cusp attrition and artificial tooth fallout was the chief complaint. So we decided to do the complete denture, but the same complaint might arise later. There are many ways to do digital denture, but not many that can prevent wearing. So with the three shape, after making complete denture for maxilla, it is opened in the blender. Functional cusp of vertices and uh, other vertices are separated. Pin and hole vertices are created and uh, that will be cemented later. Functional cusp vertices are printed using a metal printer. Other vertices are printed with the resin printer. In this case, the digital lab work was done to increase the resistance to wearing. Dr. Ki, you seem to have many good cases. Ostem implant has a digital dentistry contest with 200 million won of prize money. Have you heard of that? I heard that, uh, but uh, the deadline is already over. Regrettably, the deadline is over. I think this good case has high chances of winning the contest. We will do the contest again, so next time make sure that you participate in the digital dentistry contest. Thank you. Please continue with your lecture. This is the last case, 82-year-old female. The existing denture is too loose. The bone is severely resorbed. We plan the full denture. The suction power of the denture is expected to be low, therefore we decided to apply Dr. Abe's suction effective denture technique. An old denture can be digitally copied to be used as an individualized tray, but the copied denture doesn't have space for impression material. So using Blender, I designed a new denture by setting vertices inside the denture and adjusted them 1 to 2 millimeters externally to make room for impression material. And it is milled. Intraorally, I took the impression. That way, the mandibular denture would be more suction effective. I could use conventional method, but uh, I used uh, the digital advantages to reduce the number of visits for the patient using the blender. A stent for gingivectomy was made. Using open source, I performed the diagnosis, the treatment, and the prosthetic fabrication. I believe the digital technology has the limitless potential for treatment. In the future, many more functions would be added to the commercial dental cat. Recently, crown bridge inlay and guide stents can easily be fabricated using commercial cat and its use is getting more and more popular. Many dentists are realizing the benefits of the digital approach. The digital technology will advance even further for patients and dentists. This is what I have prepared. Thank you for your listening.
Dr. Key, thank you for the lecture. All the cases you introduced have been done using dental CAD, right? When I was an intern, I did the digital prosthetics, commercial dental CAD like three shape and exo CAD are used, but there are some functions that are not available from the commercial CAD, then I use the open source. So you have the capability to deal with the open source and you applied it and developed them, right? Rather than my ability, already many people develop the functions, so many others. My ability is nothing. But uh, in your cases, you also added your capability, right? Yes, just a little bit. Thank you for your answer. So Dr. Key's presentation is completed. Through real-time Q&A, we will answer the questions from the audience. Dr. Key, let's look at the questions we received. There are so many. Oh, how can we answer all of them? 101301 asks, what is the minimum number of implants in the full implant cases of maxilla and mandible? This is off topic of today, but in a full case, in the mandible, at least the six implants need to be placed, six to eight. For the maxilla, maybe more, about eight of them, because the bone quality is not good in the upper and for the good distribution. At least eight in the upper, six in the lower, and the appropriate number the question is the minimal number of implants. And the appropriate number would be two more than them, right? What do you think? To be honest, last year, this is what I studied for the specialist exam. Dr. Mish said, to be honest, I don't really remember. I'm sorry but um, approximately Dr. Mish, as far as I understand it, he is the prosthodontist and it can be more, but in general, magic denture, magic four, requires a four implant placement, but that's hybrid type. But in terms of the full fixed bridge, at least the six and eight. If it is for an overdenture, two can be placed, two in the mandible, in the, in the maxilla, two is not enough, four in the maxilla for overdenture, for a bridge, eight and six. That could be the minimal number. I agree. Oh, do you agree? Thank you. Next. I think studying digital dentistry and having clinical experience is essential during we serve as a resident. What do you think, Dr. Ki? I think the questioner is a resident. I think so too. Last year, I graduated from the prosthodontic department. I need to be careful in saying this, but um, digital dentistry was not as good as conventional approach. It was just um, imitating the conventional approach. However, in terms of accuracy and precision, recently, uh, the digital approach is far better than analog approach, a surgical guide can be digitally 
enabled, which cannot be done by an analog approach. It's faster and more accurate, so they have to do it. The residents need to do it under the instruction of professors who need to have digital dentistry concept, and the professors need to push the residents to adopt the approach. What is the program? It looks very convenient. The program that you used, I believe it's the patient registration and the classifying the patients looks very convenient. Is that Jeonnam University Prosthodontics Department program? If you are in the first year of prosthodontics department, you need to sort or organize casts and files. When people are changed, the file organization is lost and the storage space is wasted. If you use a computer skilled friend, the data can be effectively stored. That's why I made the program. So out of love for your juniors, you made the program so that they can find the files easily so that juniors who take care of that files can do the work effectively. What is the name of the program? It was not a long time ago that I made the program, and it is still undergoing changes. Then next time, after it is improved in about six months, I will invite you back. Then you will introduce the name of the program, maybe key dental program, adopting your name. It would be good. Another question, how can I enter into the digital dentistry? We need to start and go step by step. What should be the starting point? Many people may feel starting digital dentistry as a daunting task. How can we start easily? If you decided to do digital dentistry, I believe people do zirconia. Doing zirconia means creating a 3D file before milling by a lab. If you can get the 3D file, get the file and make modifications if you want, and uh, you can approach digital by working on the file. Does the lab send you the file if you ask? I think they should. Yes, they send you the file, and uh, if you approve the file, you need to get skilled to give the approval. Uh, then you can get interested in the digital approach. The three shape or exocad, the commercial uh, program is rather expensive, but uh, there are free programs available. Next. When you make the program, what was the most difficult part? The question. Rather than difficult, I thought about the difficulties I had in sorting the file. During my year one, I took many pictures and made many files. The way I stored them is different from the method I used in year two. So you used a different storing method. That's right, because the situation changed. So I wanted some standard way by making the program. Is that so? Let's go to the next question. It looks like a very useful program. Depending on the purpose of a dental clinic, pictures can be sorted in various ways. Is it difficult for a user to customize the sorting method? To be honest, the one I showed you is optimized for our department. We have 3D printers and we have many intraoral 
scanners and the files, so it is optimized for our situation. So you need to optimize it fitting your situation. You need to study open source, how to use it, then it will work. Open source means Dr. Key or other dentists want something and that's provided by the open source. I just showed you the open source part, but I'm not sure how it will be further developed. So we need to watch and observe what's happening there. Customizing means the program is customized for a specific clinic. Is it easy? It varies from person to person, depending on one's knowledge, digital knowledge, depending on one's coding capability. So it does it require a lot of digital technique? Digital is quite broad. Coding is a part of digital. So if you have certain level of coding capability, you can customize it easily. Not easy, but uh, you can do the customization. Depending on the up dates of the program, the equipment specification can vary. If you purchase equipment, what is the lifespan? How many years can you use the equipment? I don't quite understand the question, but can you answer the question? So I believe the question is how long we can use the computer. the life cycle of the program. So when you install the program in the computer, how long it can be used? Maybe that's the question. I'm not sure about the question. That's right. So I'm not sure whether the question is about the program or the equipment. Later, we will ask the questioner about the point of the question and answer later, and we will send the question to you, and I would appreciate it if you can answer that. Can we, is there a possibility that we lose the materials data? The data is very important, so we need double or triple backup systems. Data can be copied and uh, collected in one place. There is a no deletion function, no deletion function. Digital technology used in your clinic, clinical practice, so what program do you use in terms of dental CAD, AxoCAD, or others? We have Exocade and 3Shape. We use both of them. So you use both of them. And anything else? Yes, those two are the representative dental CAD programs. Is it difficult to collaborate with a lab in the current situation? I have not worked locally, but in a university, a lab exists in the hospital, so there is no problem using the digital technology in communicating with the lab. So you can find a lab skilled in digital approach, and you can communicate with the lab using compatible programs. It will work, right? I believe that will work. We don't have to have face-to-face -face communication so we can do it online. So if the program is compatible between the systems, the communication can be facilitated. We already touched upon this question, and let's go to another question. And there's a comment saying that's right to the previous question. Thank you for good lecture, and uh, there are comments thanking you. 
Dr. Key has talked about very interesting questions, and the questions are very interesting. I think you received the most number of questions in the prosthodontics on Friday program. And I would like to thank those who participated in the chatting real time. We will do the lucky draw to select some of the lucky ones to receive coffee coupons. Dr. Ki, I felt that you have passion for digital dentistry and that you are developing the programs. What is your ultimate dream or goal? I am currently taking a break from clinical work and I am into AI functions, deep learning or other digital areas can be combined with the digital dentistry providing benefits to patients and dentists. So I'm going to study how to combine them. AI seems to be important. With the advancement of AI, I believe dentists can utilize AI functions. A lot of work can be done by AI, and you can the dentist can finalize and give the final touch to the work done by AI. I hope the day comes. I will try. Thank you very much. We will actively support your grand dream. When opportunity comes, we will invite you so that we can learn from you very important stuff. This is the last lecture of digital special lecture. So thank you very much for giving us very good final lecture. A series of seven special digital lectures have been provided in this program. I hope you learned a lot from this lecture on the age of big data, digital dentistry for patients and dentists. Next time, we will invite Dr. Park Jong-hyun to talk about the shapes of partial edentulous jaw and appropriate number of implants to be placed. Thank you very much for watching us until the late hour. Thank you. Thank you.